Hey guys, got a battle for you with my second generation team. This is actually a rematch. Uh, so I think you guys have seen this team before, so let's just jump right into the battle. Like I said before, this is a rematch against uh, Otaku Athlete Gamer. He's going to lead off with his Porygon as I'm going to send out my Snappy Feet. Now, I, I, I hate Porygons. I do. I'm just going to go straight for the superpower to KO. And it, it uh, almost KOs, gets him in the red. He... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he's going to knock me out here with a tri-attack. Yeah, he knocks me out with a tri-attack. So, Snappy Feet didn't get to do a whole lot in this battle, but he got to put a huge dent in the Porygon, and I'm happy for that. I'm going to switch into my Balto, go for Fire Blast, and just KO it. He's going to go into his Cranidos, and I'm going to pull back and go into my uh, Derpet, my Wooper. Now, he's going to go for Earthquake. It's not going to do that much, thanks to it not being stabbed. Going to go for another Earthquake. I'm going to go for Recover, just to get recover off that damage. And uh, expecting another earthquake, I'm just gonna recover. I'm gonna recover again, just to cover off th that damage. I'm guessing he thinks that this is a good time to set up, which it would be on a normal Pokemon. However, my Derpet has unaware, so I don't have to worry about any of his boosts. So as he sets up his Dragon Dances, I'm just gonna go for the stockpiles, getting my defense up, just thinking, oh boy, this guy's gonna be so mad when he finds out what I've been doing. So, I'm at plus two defenses, uh, he's going to go for the waterfall, and it's not going to do jack. I'm going to go for another stockpile, and now I'm at stockpile three with the Veolite. This thing can't touch me. He goes for Brick Break, it does nothing. I go work for Recover, expecting another waterfall, actually. He goes for another Dragon Dance, and I'm, at this point, I'm thinking, I bet he's thinking, what the heck's going on? So, now I'm going to start my offense and just go for Earthquakes. He's going to keep going for Dragon Dances, and I'm guessing he's going to try and put it all in one attack. Going to keep going for the Earthquakes, going to keep hitting it. Look, uh, it's going to be a four-hit KO, and uh, he goes for a Waterfall. It does nothing. He goes for a turn. It does nothing. And I'm going to KO this turn with an Earthquake. It's at this point during the chat, he told me, oh, crud, completely forgot that thing had Unaware. So, yeah, he goes for Fake Out, and it does nothing. Now he goes for Vacuum Wave, and it does a little more than that. And I'm going to be able to KO with an Earthquake, so down goes Krogunk. Uh, next, he's going to send out his The Wall, his Mantike. And uh, I'm actually going... He's going to set up his Rain Dance here as... I'm actually going to go for Recover, uh, expecting him to do a damaging type move. And he goes for Hydro Pump, and I avoid it. I go for Blizzard, he avoids it. I, he goes for Hydro Pump again. This time it hits, and it does quite a bit. And I'm going to go for Blizzard, it really doesn't do anything at all. Uh, more Hydro Pumps, I'm just going to go for a Recover, and my plan now is, since I can't really do anything with this thing, uh, I'm just going to wait him out, or wait till the rain ends, and then I'm going to switch out. So here to the rain ends, I'm going to switch out and go into my Flashlight, my Chin Chow, just so I can uh, take the Hydro Pump and uh, go for Agility. So he goes for Ice Beam this time, I don't know why, maybe he thought I was going to switch out or something. So I go for uh, Agility, and I'm going to... I'm going to be able to KO this thing with a Thunderbolt. However, he predicts this, go into his Get Snagged, his Diglett. Now, I'm going to go straight for the Ice Beam to take it out. However, he's got a Focus Sash. And I'm like, oh, crud. So he's going to be able to take out my Flashlight with an Earthquake, and down it goes. Oh, man, that just sucked. I'm going to go into my Derpet as he goes for another Earthquake. And I go for Blizzard, which it misses. I should have just gone for the Earthquake. What the heck was I thinking? Seriously. So, he's going to send out his, uh, I'm going to send out my Black Mage as he goes for Sucker Punch. I'm guessing he thought I would be faster or something. I don't know what. Uh, I'm going to go for Hidden Power just to knock it out as he goes back into his The Wall. Now, uh, I'm going to go for Shadow Ball and just to see how much it does. It almost does nothing. He goes for uh, Ice Beam. I'm going to keep going for the Shadow Balls and hope I get the Special Defense Drop. But it looks like one about one more hit's going to do it. So, this turn, I go for the Nasty Plot. That was actually a misclick. I didn't mean to go for the Nasty Plot. I was going to KO. Why would I need to go for the Nasty Plot? So now I'm going to send out my Balto. I know I'm going to be faster, and I'm just hoping a Dark Pulse will be able to knock it out. And it is. Uh, he's going to go into his last Pokemon, his Cranidos, as I... And he goes for Earthquake, which shows me that it's Scarved. And I've got one last Pokemon it is, and guess what it is? Strobless, my Pineco. My Pineco is going to resist the hell out of this Earthquake for damage, and it's going to be able to hit back twice as hard with with Payback. So there you go. There you go, folks. I'm going to win this battle with my 
with my Strobless. My lead Pokemon, usually sacrificed off early, is going to win me the match this time. GG, man. Good game. Thanks for that battle, Otaku Athlete Gamer. Okay, so let, today's talk of the day is about courtesy. Uh, when I'm facing an opponent who may be a bit new or maybe they're testing out teams, what I like to do is I like to give them a little courtesy during the battle. Say they're going for... Uh, let's just take a past battle I've had, for example. Say someone's trying to use Toxic against your Badoo, your Grass Poison type. After a couple Toxics, uh, I go ahead and point out, hey, Toxic isn't going to work, it's part Poison. So, on the first one, it's kind of like, you know, now you know if you didn't know before. On the second one, it's like, okay, I better tell them, because it's not going to be much of a match if they keep making the same mistake over and over again. And uh, another example would be, like, in this battle. During this battle, after uh, I set up my stockpiles and he kept going for Dragon Dance, I told him, you do know Wooper runs unaware, right? And then he just completely forgot. So, yeah, it's it's a courtesy thing. I hope you guys all enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.